Hi everyone, welcome back to the Nail Nails channel. I'm Steffi Fernandez and in today's video we'll be doing a 90s clipper design. Um, I really like this design, I hope you enjoy it and yeah, let's get cracking. Right, so I'm going to start this design off by applying two layers of Snow White on one nail. Um, I really, really like this design, so I'm probably going to be doing two. So I'm going in with two thin layers uh, for one nail, and I think the other nail will be turquoise or teal. I kind of love this one. Very nostalgic design, guys. I'm going to start with the other nail. And I'm gonna apply one layer of rich teal and I'm gonna cure that as well. This is like genuinely one of the nicest colors ever. Reminds me of a swimming pool when you go on holiday. Oh, does it? Yeah. I don't know what it reminds me of. It does give me some sort of a vibe when I look at this color, but I'm trying to think. I don't know if like pop art or something like that springs to mind for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. It's such a bold color, isn't it? Mm. Right, so I've got my white nail cured. I've um, applied some serious black on the palette and now I'm gonna use my 0003 brush, which is, guys, you know, my favorite brush. I'm just gonna dip it in to um, serious black. And I'm going to just map out some really thin lines across the nail. Now, don't apply too much pressure. Just use the tip to do those lines because you want them to be nice and straight and thin. So uh, the more pressure you apply, you'll be using most of the brush and then it will get thicker, right? So just literally use the, th the tip of the brush. Right, so we've got our white nail cured as well as the turquoise one. And I'm just going to prep my palette and um, apply the colors that we are using for today's design. So I'm gonna just get them here. I'm gonna be using Periwinkle, which is a stunning, stunning purple. I'm gonna apply a little bit on my palette. Uh, I'm also gonna apply Tropical Lagoon. Now, this is a gorgeous blue, isn't it? Mm. Stunning, stunning. Um, sour lemon, which is a gorgeous yellow. I love this yellow. But when you paint on dark colors, do apply white before. And also Hawaiian Lei. I don't think I've used this color before. No, but I've this never is a heard of it. Beautiful one. Yeah, so. Beautiful, beautiful pink. I'm gonna also add a little bit of the rich teal that we used earlier, so I can use that on the white nail. Right, so we've got our colors ready. <laughs> oh, I think that up later on. <laughs> so we've got our colors ready, and all we're gonna do now, the 90s is quite, it, it, it's, uh, the design is kind of built from a lot of different shapes uh, on top of this background. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply, let's say, let's go with Tropical Lagoon. And I'm gonna start painting a triangle. So I'm gonna go ahead and just map that out. And fill it in as well at the same time. Now, you know, if you don't feel like your line work is good enough, um, you know, for this design, you can get away with it because we are painting so much on top, so you won't be able to really see it at the end. It just adds a little bit extra. Right, so we've got a triangle here. Um, 
now there's a lot of swirls i can see and circles so i'm gonna try add them as well uh, i'm gonna go ahead and pick up that hawaiian lay well i'm really in love with this color i've never mm, really used so it nice. before it's lovely isn't it yeah, yeah. and i'm gonna start painting a shade that looks kind of like a snake but it's not <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and just start painting a u-shape and then i'm gonna flip that u-shape and paint another one just like so and i'm gonna continue that so again a u-shape and i'll flip it over again and create another one after and once I've marked that, I can go in and thicken it up a bit more. So I've got that over here. I feel like it needs to be slightly thicker. So let me just add a little bit more thickness to this. got that lovely and I'm gonna start painting a rectangle but I think that to paint it I will need to do a layer of white before just because um, the yellow the lines might come through if I paint the yellow straight ahead so I'm going to just pick up some of that white and then just do a rectangle over here so that would be a nice base for me to apply the yellow on and I'm going to pop this into the lamp now if I mess it up. Right, while the other nail is curing, I'm going to start on our turquoise nail. So I'm going to map out again a rectangle uh, in black. So that will be just under. Now it doesn't have to be a full on rectangle because I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and paint a um, a white one on top of this one but I want it to be there like a shadow if it makes sense so I've done that so I'm gonna leave this here Let me just refine that line do you like 90s music at all or oh yes yeah, it's the I best. am all about the 90s 90s 80s and the 2000 yeah. there's some music, best that music. You, yes you cannot like remake those that those tunes. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know the it's... music, the beat. I mean, yeah, oh, it's just iconic, really. So iconic, honestly. Uh, I'm gonna go into Tropical Lagoon as well, and again start with a little bit of, let's do, um, a square. Actually, on here, I'm gonna do a small one. It just dips into the yellow without realizing. <laughs> right, so we've got this. I'm going to refine the shape again. I'm going to do a circle underneath. I'm going to let this cure first, but I'm going to do like, let's say, I'm going to take the pink. I'm going to do another little circle on the side over here. And I'll show you a little hack as well. So sometimes when I paint things that I have to paint um, that look hollow, like there is a negative space in the middle, I can actually do it right if I paint it like so but for people who struggle to paint circles um, they can actually just paint a full-on circle and then just take a dotting tool and apply the turquoise on it and then dot it in the middle and that's how you'll get a hollow circle if it makes sense because some people actually struggle to paint you know outlines so 
you can do shapes fully and fill them all together and then paint with a background color on top to make it look like it's hollow. I'm gonna do some more. So I'm gonna pop this into the lab. And I'm gonna take the white one out cause um, it's already cured, right? So now I'm going back into the yellow. And I'm gonna just paint on top of that white that we did earlier on. I love retro vibes and neon lights and all that. If I have um, a studio or room eventually, I want the deco to be like proper. Yeah, yeah. No, so if I had really a bar cool, or a yeah. pub, that would definitely be something that I would do. Um, Okie dokie. So I've got this over here as well. And I'm going to add some black on the pink over here just to give it a little bit of shading. So I'm just going to go under where we painted earlier. Just like so. So this design is lot. As much as it looks easy, um, it has a lot of shapes and you kind of have to do a lot of work to, uh, you know, get it to come together. It is time consuming, isn't it? How cute, right? I'm going to just wipe off the excess on my lint free wipe and then I'm going to add a little circle over here. on the side of that triangle. Just like so. Oh wow, that's like the perfect half circle. <laughs> Over here, and now I'm gonna add another kind of, um, I think I want to add another but I think it's going to interfere with the yellow. So I'm gonna do a, yeah, a pink one over here. I'm gonna do it really, really carefully because I don't want it to mix into that yellow that we painted earlier on. gonna add I feel like there's a little bit missing you know I'm gonna add a little bit more over here again dipping into the wrong color today <laughs> easy to do Do you want more shapes on this, Lucy? What do you reckon? Mm. If you could fit in a small one. If I can fit in a small one. Mm. Fine. Challenge. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> uh, I'll go into that blue. And I will do a little square over here. Well, the edge of it. I'm going to be adding white, like I said. Let me just get a little bit more. I always use Snow White so much. And mm. I always put the little, <laughs> the littlest amount on my palette. Yes, yeah, one of the basic colors that yeah. you need though, isn't it? So I'm going to apply that over here and create another, um, 
rectangle underneath and I'm gonna go into serious black and then again just outline a little bit of this uh, square that we did earlier on. I'm gonna do the same with the um, what is it called? <laughs> The triangle. Yeah, yeah. The triangle. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what it was. I'm forgetting the words there for a second. Like, lovely. And I'm gonna pop this into the lamp as well. So both designs will be slightly different, but they have the same kind of vibe. So, right. I'm going to add with a dotting tool. If I can find it. Is there a dotting tool here? Yes, there is. Right. I'm gonna take a little bit more of series black and just apply some detail on some of the um shapes that we drew so i'm just going to take that and just apply some blobs on the yellow one I'm gonna add some detail on the turquoise one now, just so you can have two nails so you can see like what it looks like side to side. And I'm gonna do the same as I did with the yellow and just add some kind of black everywhere. It looks so much better on white, doesn't it? Yeah, ah, I like that. It's a good contrast in colours. Mmm, it's beautiful. If I can do it with the dotting tool straight away, rather than going into my detailing brush, mm. kill two birds in one stone. <laughs> Just gonna add some more lines on the square. I think it will look really cool. Um, and then we can really finish off this design. blast both for a proper cure and then we're gonna top coat it for you guys that's it guys oh my god oh i dropped it again what's happening with me today guys i'm so clumsy but in general i'm not i wouldn't say but i am here in the studio so anyway listen this is the final look with the matte top coat i absolutely love it i think it's so cool right i mean it's one of those designs that are just iconic and they look so cool on a nail um, and I've seen some people do it as well and I've never tried it so it's my first time I'm quite excited about doing this design but yeah let me know below in the comments if there's anything else you'd like to see and as usual don't forget to like share subscribe and hit that notification bell and yeah I'll see you guys all later thank you for watching